good Thursday morning to you. It's good to see you today. Hope you're having a good day so far. Uh, mine is just getting started. Yours probably is too. Um, but I woke up this morning and I like it when I wake up and there's immediately a thought on my mind. Um, I like to believe the Lord drops a thought on, uh, in my mind. And so I, hopefully this today is from the Lord and, and not from the uh, Mexican food I had yesterday. But I woke up uh, today with this thought on my mind about the most valuable thing in your life. What's the most valuable thing in your life? Uh, obviously, family is important. Your church is important. Um, you might have a, a pickup truck that you feel like is important in your life. Maybe, maybe it's a, a hunting rifle. Uh, maybe it's your home. There's a bunch of stuff. Uh, in your life, I'm sure that's very, very important. Um, but beyond your salvation, which is, I think, the most important thing, is for a person to be born again. And uh, but beyond, but beyond salvation, what is the most important thing a person can have in their life? Again, we can talk about family. Family is extremely important, very important. Friends are very, very, very important. Um, Again, it's, you got to have money. you got to have money to pay the bills and buy groceries. Uh, so money is also, it really is important. Uh, the Bible says not to have a love for money because the love for money is the root of all evil. But yet still, you got to have money. Uh, and so you don't love it. You just it, it, It's a necessary thing you got to have in your life uh, in order to keep the bills paid and the lights on at the house. And uh, so money's important. Your, obviously, your transportation is very important. Uh, where you lay down your head at night uh, is important. Your house, your home, all of these things are very, very important, to say the least. But again, beyond salvation, beyond salvation, uh, what is really the most valuable thing, the most valuable thing that you can have? Well, I declare unto you this Thursday that peace next to salvation, or beyond salvation, besides salvation, peace is one of the most valuable things, if not the most valuable thing that you can have in your life. And peace, real peace, only comes from Jesus and the relationship that you have in Him and walking with Him and talking with Him and trusting in Him. Uh, the book of Isaiah, uh, once we get peace, once we get Jesus, uh, once we get salvation, how do we keep in the world in which we live right now, especially how do we, how do we, how do we, how do we keep peace? How do we get peace? How do we attain peace? How do we do that? Well, the book of Isaiah uh, gives us an answer. Isaiah 26 and 3. I love this scripture. Thou will keep him. In other words, it's saying God will keep him or her whoever it is, in peace, in perfect peace, not just peace, but in perfect peace. How? Whose mind is stayed on thee. So if you'll keep your mind on the Lord Jesus, um, he'll give you peace. But the verse doesn't stop there. It says, um, thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because, why? Because he trusteth in thee. So trusting in the Lord if you'll really trust in the Lord Jesus, you will find that you'll have peace and you'll have peace that doesn't just just, just go away when the next storm comes uh, uh, showing up at your front door. <laughs> but, but that peace, which comes from God, will continue to stay with you if you keep your mind on the Lord Jesus. Dottie Rambo, years ago, wrote a song um, she had just lost a friend. A friend had hurt her, and, and so that relationship had been crushed. And she was walking along the beach one night. Uh, no one else was, was around. And uh, she saw all the debris that, that a recent storm had, had brought onto the beach. The ocean had washed it on the beach. And she thought, well, you know, that's kind of like uh, our lives, um, the way it is. Storms bring debris, and storms bring all kind of things into our lives that we never anticipated having there in our lives. 
And it was on the beach as she walked along that the words to this song came to her and she wrote this song. Um, Dottie Rambo, I feel the touch of hands so kind and tender. They're leading me in paths that I must trod. I'll have no fear for Jesus walks beside me for I'm sheltered in the arms of God. And so then the song goes on to say, so let the storms rage high, the dark clouds rise. They don't worry me for I'm sheltered safe within the arms of God. He walks with me and not of earth shall harm me for I'm sheltered safe within the arms of God. That is a perfect picture of peace, being safe in, and sheltered in the arms of God. My prayer today is that you'll be safe and you'll find shelter and you'll find peace today in the arms of the Lord Jesus. May God bless you and your family. Love you, appreciate you. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a very happy Thursday.